If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Hello and welcome to News Watch. This in from State Representative Aaron Bernstein. He announces a grant to improve pedestrian safety in downtown Beaver Falls. Geneva College will receive $489,000 plus from the Commonwealth Financing Authority and multi-module transportation funding for pedestrian safety. Improvements in the city of Beaver Falls, said State Representative Aaron Bernstein. The funding will be used to support Geneva College's South Campus Corridor, projects which seek to improve the ability of residents, students, and visitors to walk, bike between the college and downtown Beaver Falls. This project will go a long way in helping to improve pedestrian safety for both Geneva College community, residents, and visitors to Beaver Falls, said Bernstein. I am looking forward to seeing the complete results of the project, and I am hopeful it will also encourage further economic development in our district for the future. And uh, the following improvements are included in the project new curbs, along with construction of roughly a 1300 foot new sidewalk exiting sidewalks as well as lighting fencing and landscaping now newswatch is going to roll on but first we have to hear from these great sponsors who keep community television on the air for you NC TV 45 Newcastle the train Today's program was provided through funding from Coney Island Coney Island downtown in downtown Newcastle a Newcastle tradition Welcome to News Watch and to our Lawrence County neighbors and you're all invited to a family free event to celebrate oneness in the Lawrence County community. Sunday, March 31st at the Scottish Rite Cathedral from 2 to 5, it's oneness. NCTV 45 will be there. We've been talking about it. We've had Dale Perlman on and throughout our programming day, look for the explanation for this family fun event, which has arts, fun events, refreshments, Newcastle High School Choir, Union Township High School Choir, University of Pittsburgh speaker, Allison Hood, Carson, uh, Rhonda Carson Leach, she's the speaker, free busings provided, to tune in to Focus NC and check it out. Now we're going to take this break and we'll be right back after these messages. NC TV 45 Newcastle, the train.
Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. The Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. All These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Mohawk High School will have a service project and honor senior citizens with a pro senior prom. Who's invited? Adults 55 and up. When? Saturday, April 13th from 5 to 7.30. The cost? Zero. Nada. Completely free. Yes, at the Mohawk High School gym. Appetizers, a band, a photo booth, desserts, crowning a king and queen, and also door prizes. Yes, I said door prizes from local businesses. Formal dress is required. Not really necessary, but they say look neat for your senior prom. What a great idea. Way to go, Warriors. Now, we're going to take this break, and we'll be back on Newswatch after we hear from these sponsors who keep community television on the air for you. program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. corner and uh, let's get to Major League Baseball. Those buckos go to visit the Cincinnati Red Legs. Well, the Indians, they're on the road visiting the Twinkies. Elsewhere in the National, well, as elsewhere in the Major Leagues. Yankees, they're at home against the Orioles. The Mets, they're on the road against the Nationals. The Dodgers, they're at home against the Diamondbacks. While the Tigers, they go visit the Blue Jays. The White Sox will be at the Royals. The Cardinals will be at the Brewers. The Braves will be at the Phillies. Astros at Tampa Bay Rays. Cubs at Texas Rangers. Angels will be at the Athletics and the Giants at the Padres while the Rockies take on the Marlins and the Red Sox visit the Mariners. Now in the NBA and uh, we keep talking about we're, we're getting down to that playoff time Key matchup here, and I like this one, the Nets visiting the 76ers. Now, this is one time when I hope my son's team really pours it on as the Cavaliers go to take on the Spurs. The Magic will be at the Pistons. The, the Mavericks will be at the Heat. The Raptors at the Knicks. Nuggets at the Rockets. The Clippers at the Bucks. And the Kings, why they 
they'll be at the Pelicans. Now, over in the NHL, as we stream along, your Thursday games, and uh, they've got a pretty decent slate. The Red Wings at the Sabres, Capitals at the Hurricane, Canadians at the Blue Jackets, Panthers at the Senators, Islanders at the Jets, Stars will be at the Oilers, Kings will be at the Canucks, and the Blackhawks, they'll take on the Sharks. This was the Cedar Sports Corner, and we're going to return right after this timeout. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop where smiles are everywhere This program furnished by a grant from Ferone Brothers Two locations, Newcastle on Mill Street and Wilmington Road in Newcastle. This program, furnished by a grant from Keystone Specialty, Newcastle's party store on Mill Street in Newcastle. I-N-G-O, yes, B-I-N-G-O, it's bingo at Mary Mother of Hope, and that's every Thursday, that's today. Doors open at 5.30, kitchen opens at 6.30. Bingo starts at 6.45. Remember, there's no bingo April 11th because of Easter Fest, and no bingo April 18th because of Holy Thursday. So, uh, just to keep your bingo up <laughs> get the bingo tonight Mary Mother I hope we'll be right back after we hear from these great sponsors NC TV 45 Newcastle the train this program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars, featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program. A special thank you to Tuscany Square Restaurant, Wilmington and Mitchell Roads, for providing funding for this program. It's good to see you on Newswatch, and here's a reminder. There's Lenten Penance Services, the Parish Penance Service, Tuesday, April 2nd at 7 p.m. at St. James the Apostle. The light is on for you Wednesday, April 10th 
at 6 p.m. at Mary Mother of Hope. And that put out by the Catholic community in Newcastle. So, um, and that's, the light is on for you. Always uh, something you get at this time of the year. So, now we're going to take this break and hear from these great sponsors. We'll return after these messages. Tuscany Square Restaurant, 3470 Wilmington Road, where old world charm meets the modern conveniences of today. Spacious seating and amenities await. Fresh ingredients that make that just right pizza or entree. It's Tuscany Square for your next event. Stop and see us or give us a call at 724-654-0365. Welcome to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's mostly clear low of 34, how is your Thursday looking? Well, uh, everybody got to have a little rain sometime. And as you look at the local scene, you see that moisture building up around us and off to the north and west in the national you see the cloud cover and precipitation. So, your Thursday, increasing cloudiness, high of 57, chance of rain is 40%. So, as you go through the day, the chance of rain increases. Now, Thursday night, cloudy, 45, chance of rain, 60%, you're getting wet. Comes to Friday, showers, cloudy, 57, chance of rain, 60%. Friday night, showers likely, cloudy, 48, chance of rain, 60%. Into Saturday, cloudy, 61, chance of rain, 70%. And the rain continues on Saturday night. Yes, with a chance of rain and snow showers, low around 32. I caution you because those sidewalks, railings, they could be slippery. Please watch your step. Sunday comes, mostly cloudy and 39. Sunday night, partly cloudy and 26. And the sun pops out for Monday with a sunny high of 46. Monday night, partly cloudy, 31, and Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high of 51. Well, just got to get through this rain, and it looks like it's going to be half of the weekend. This was Lawrence County 45 weather, and we're going to take this break. We'll be right back after we hear from these great Stand sponsors. Today's programming is brought to you by NC TV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. NC TV 45, Newcastle, the train. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing. See Michael Sad at themadunit.com. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Funding for this program furnished by Mary's Turner's Day Spa. Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township, Newcastle. Welcome back to News Watch. Empty Bowls. Yes, it supports the ch Children's Summer Food Program. And it's an annual fundraiser for the Lawrence County community that supports this. Now, what they're going to have this year is this is at Newcastle Junior Senior High School, 300 East Lincoln Avenue from 4 to 6. 
Saturday, April 6th. Now, this fundraiser is going to be good. Be one of the things that they're doing is many of the local restaurants uh, are contributing soup. Yes, the soup contributed by the restaurants is going to be served at empty bowls. And uh, this is going to be something. So go get that classic taste of soup that you love. At Empty Bowls at the Newcastle High School. Enjoy it from your favorite type of spot. And, uh, you know, this is the seventh annual one. Congratulations to those people. Now, we're going to take this break. We'll return on Newswatch right after these messages. <laughs> 